Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over ClickFunnels 2.0 URL redirects. This is a great way of creating a link that you can pretty much forward someone to anywhere you want to go and you could even split test it which makes it great for a variety of reasons say like testing out offers if you're an affiliate marketer or maybe you have multiple offers yourself you want to test out. If you'd like to follow along I will leave my link down below and if you click that you can get a free 14 day trial. If you're a current customer you can use that as well to log in and follow along. Let's begin. So we have on the left side first once you're in the dashboard you want to go to the sites and funnels and as you can see there's going to be a specific section called url redirects that's where i am once you are here if you don't have any created it should look like this and you want to click on new url redirect right in the middle okay so let's take a look from the top first and foremost utm tracking is going to be a little bit more i guess you could say parameters in case you want to add to that that's a little bit more advanced so if you're familiar with that that's where that stuff is going to go i do want to talk about the basics of this so we're going to have our name, we're going to have our original path, and of course the target URL. So let's start off with this. Let's just say I am in the movie niche. For some odd reason, I have a website about niches or I sell movies, whatever it's going to be. That's just the first example that came to my head. Let's talk about uh, the name of it. So it's just going to say movies. Okay, that's what it's related to. And it's going to say that if the URL is available to use. For example, if you already had a link like that, it's going to say you can't use it. It's already in use. You know, pick another one. Tough luck. Okay, so here's where we want to specify where this is going to go. So when someone clicks on this link, it's going to go to a specific URL we want it to go to. In a different niche, let's say we we're talking about just sales funnels. Like if you wanted to create a link for click funnels and it went to click funnels, you'd probably just put the URL there. You would make this click funnels and everything else. But since we're talking about movies, and it also says make sure that you use the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash show. Since we're talking about movies, of course, for this example, I'm going to do imdb.com, International Movie Database. And the cool thing about it, like I talked about, there is a split testing option. So if you want to send someone to just one website and you're sure about that, you don't need to edit the split testing. But let's just say that you want to. Let's just say... This is going to go to Fandango, which is another movie website. Okay, we're split testing here. And this is going to be the percent of traffic to send the second URL. Normally, what you want to do is 50. So it's half and half. Okay, so half goes here, half goes there. And then you can figure out, you know, say if there was conversions or if you were tracking something, if it was affiliate offer, you can see which one's getting more conversions overall. And then you can remove the split test and keep the best one, of course, right? There's also going to be the option for a retargeting pixel if you want to do that, if you've got the know-how for that. This is where the pixel code can go. That's a very nice feature. I remember many years ago, this came out a long time ago, and it was like the coolest thing since sliced bread because what you could do is create your affiliate link. And when someone clicks on it, even though they arrive to someone else's page, you could still track them through a retargeting pixel, even though they didn't end up on your own page after, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Either way, those are going to be the basics of it. Let's click on create URL redirect. And what you want to do, you can either highlight it or just click the copy, which is obviously the easiest way of doing that. I'm going to open it up in a new incognito window. One second. Okay, so the first one went to Fandango. Of course, you know, it's going to be 50-50. I'm not sure if it's just like, you know, first click Fandango, next time DB, or if it's, if it's for changes on a different person. Let's put it in again. Fandango. No, we don't want this. So it might just go to me on mine. So let's close this up again. Okay, so I opened it up in a new tab and it went to it. So I don't think it's like 100% like first person goes to Fandango, next person goes to IMDb. I'm not familiar with like how that sets off, but I think overall it eventually averages out is my guess. So that's what happens when you can use your URL shortener. I do want to minimize this and show you one thing that it won't work if your blog is on private. And just to show you where that is, that's pretty much going to be in the main settings. So it needs to be public. If you put it on private, it's going to say like, oops, this is coming soon. You can't see it yet. So if for some odd reason your blog is on private and you go to use a URL redirect, it will not work just in case that comes up so you can solve that as well. But all in all, those are going to be the quick steps and tutorial when it comes to the ClickFunnels 2.0 URL redirects. It's kind of like using pretty links, but you get to use that within ClickFunnels. I don't believe they had that in the original ClickFunnels 1.0 version, but it's nice that they have it here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Once again, if you want to test out ClickFunnels, I will have a link in the description for a free 14-day trial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.